guys, this is Jackie, your Nerdy Crafter. And I don't know about you guys, but I am so looking forward to Disney's Big Hero 6. Not only is it a Disney movie, but it's also a collaboration with Marvel. And just put these two awesome things together and they come up with the most amazing things. And I've kind of been watching the trailers non-stop. And so I thought I'd give you guys a bit of a heads up, since the movie's coming out next month, for you guys to learn how to make your very own Baymax. This project is really versatile. You can turn it into a necklace, earrings, a pin, a magnet, anything you want. So it's really up to you to be creative. And since Disney and Marvel collaborated on this project, I figured it was a good time to also collaborate with none other than my friend Lee Zhu from Artsy Rush. We both decided to make our own version of Baymax, but we also decided to work on two different types of clay. I'm working with polymer clay, and she's working with air dry clay, which is a little trickier to work with. Be sure to check out her Baymax and subscribe to her channel while you're there. Her channel also focuses on geeky things, so if you love anime and geeky items, you should definitely check her out. And we think alike, it's scary how much we think alike. Here's what you'll need for this project. Your white clay, little bit of black, rounded and pointy tools, a cutter, white, black, pink acrylic paint, and finally rubbing alcohol and a q-tip to clean up your piece from fingerprints and dust particles. Now before we go on any further, let's mix our paint. In both cases, you're going to put a lot of white and barely, not even a full drop of pink and then the other one black. You really want the colors to be almost not visible. The first thing you're going to do is make a small ball with your white clay and then you're going to roll it between your fingers so it kind of looks like a peanut shape. So that you're getting something like this. Once you have this shape, you're going to lightly flatten it down on your surface. Like so. Now take your rubbing alcohol, dip it in your q-tip and clean up your piece. Now with your rounded tool, you're going to put some pink around his torso. For the arms, it's fairly simple. You're going to make a carrot shape out of your white clay. And then with your cutter, you're going to cut three even parts. Think of it as cutting a pie. Now take each part between your finger and roll it out so that they look like fingers. There you go. Now lightly flatten it down. Feel free to use your pointy tool just to make the separation between the thumb and the other fingers. In order to stick it behind the body, flatten out the top part here and then place the body on top and turn it around and smooth it out. Now make the other side. Now for the leg, you're going to roll out a chubby snake and flatten it down lightly again. And make sure that the tip is still tiny. Now make a second one. Once you have two, stick them next to each other and clean them up with your rubbing alcohol and Q-tip. Now we want the legs to be small, so take your cutter and remove about half of them, depending on how long you made them. Now you're going to do the same thing we did for the arms. You're going to flatten out the top part and then slide it underneath the body. And now smooth it out in the back. Now for the head, it's really simple. You're just going to take a small ball of white clay, roll it out into an oval, and then you're going to press the top part, like we did for the limbs, and place it right on top of there. There you go. For the eyes, this is what you're going to do. Take your rounded tool, make two little holes, and then you're going to roll out a really thin snake with your black clay, place it in between, and then you're going to make two small balls and put them right there. The reason we're putting the mouth first is so that that way the eyes cover whatever ends we have. Now with your rounded tool again, you're going to take your pink paint and you're going to put some on the outside of the arm, on the outside of the thighs, and then the bottom of the feet. Now you're going to take your gray paint and draw on the little logo. Feel free to make your gray a little darker to make the contour and the inside. Now you're going to bake this at 275 degrees Fahrenheit for eight minutes. It is safe to bake it with the acrylic paint on there as long as your paint is non-toxic. All done! Don't forget to check out Artsy Rush's channel and her video and subscribe while you're there. Since this is based on a comic book, I'd like to know, what is your favorite manga or comic book? Let me know in the comment section below. And if you have suggestions for future geeky tutorials, do the same thing. If you make anything geeky, remember to post it on my Facebook, DeviantArt, or hashtag NerdyCrafter on Instagram. I love seeing your creation, so make sure that you do tag me or post it on my social media. Until then, I will see you guys next week.